Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome to my new office space. Isn't it just beautiful? Look at my nice desk too. This is just the perfect studio. Actually, it's just a study room. <laughs> Anyways, if you're an iPhone owner, have you ever wanted to record your screen for any reason, but you just didn't have an app that could do it, or you were trying to jailbreak it just so you could get some sort of screen recording mechanism to do it? You don't even need those things anymore. Luckily, in the new iOS, iOS 11, it has a built-in screen recording functionality, which is great because then you can stop using all these complicated setups with capture cards and then like HDMI, um, I, don't, I forget what this thing's called, but you don't have to have all these weird setups anymore. Anymore. You can just have your phone free and record the screen. So to do that, if you're on your home screen, you just want to go into your settings and then you'll see a little thing called control center. Click on that, then you want to go to customize controls and then if you scroll down just a little bit, you see the screen recording option. So once you're there, just press that plus button. So now it's added to my control center. So when I swipe up, I see it. It's on that bottom left hand side right there. So if I want to record, just press that button and it'll count down and it'll record for you. But there's one extra thing I want to show you guys. If you do the 3D touch option, so you gotta put some oomph into pressing that button. You can turn your microphone on or off. So to turn the mic on, just press that microphone icon and you'll see that it says on. Hands free right now, mic's on. I'm gonna start recording. I'm pressing that button, three, two, one. And now it should be recording. You know it's recording because you'll see the red thing at the top. We're still going ham, getting some coins. All right, I'm gonna switch to the phone audio right now. So this is what the phone audio sounds like. I'm playing some Temple Run, running away from some scary monkeys that are trying to eat my flesh away. Look at this. I'm still a pro at this game. Oh, we got fire coming up, slide down. Yo, I should seriously go pro for Temple Run. This is just incredible. Look at this, I'm about to get this power up. Wow. All right, I'm probably just gonna commit suicide. Okay, that's how it goes. Swipe back up. And I'm just gonna press that button again. Um, let's stop the recordings. I have to wait a second and there it says screen recording videos saved to my photos. So you can just go to your photos app to view the video. I can see the video right there on the bottom right. Play it and see Good. it. So let's resume. There it is. So that's all there is to it, to recording your phone screen. So simple, no more complicated capture card expensive setups, just straight from your phone and record. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you hit it with a big thumbs up, like the video, share it with your friends, show them how to screen record if they're not aware of it already because it's so easy now in iOS 11. Besides that, I'll see you guys in my next video. Peace out. Yeah. At this moment, I've completely finished editing this video from pretty much what you just saw till now. And my constant just couldn't put the video up as it was because I was having issues with those files that I recorded directly from my phone. Basically, if you look on screen right now, I have two files. They're both the same file. One I got from plugging my phone into the computer and pulling the file directly off the phone. And the other one, I uploaded to Google Drive and downloaded it. And when I put them into an editing software, which I have Sony Vegas right now, they're both corrupt. When they're green like this, that's not good news because that means you're not going to be able to edit them the way you want to and it's just, it's no good. So I'm trying to go frame by frame here and as you can see, and it's basically trying to crash my program at this moment and it did this with the Google Drive file as well. That's a big problem. I don't mind the little red blinking bar at the top. I can crop that in my editing software without a problem, but if the files are going to be corrupt, that's just not gonna work. You can test this for me as well. Try recording with the phone and putting it into an editing software. See if there's any issues. Maybe it's just me. I don't know, but I don't think the issue should exist. So Apple, please fix that because it'd be nice to be able to edit the footage on a real editing software. This is the real end of the video right now. I'll see you guys later. Wait, wait, wait. You're probably wondering how did I fix the problem? Because you saw the footage I took from the phone. I just used the website onlinevideoconverter.com. This is not a promotion, by the way. I used their website to convert the video, and then it worked. Still a step I shouldn't have to go through. All right, whatever. I'm leaving this time. See ya.